And welcome to the Geek Slicks and Joysticks podcast. This is a show where we talk about movies, games, shows, and all the cool stuff and news we see during the week. I am your host, Edward Perez. With me, as always, my friend, Felix. And this week's birthday princess, dog, is got her in the house. Boo She was <laughs> white girl wasted last night. Allegedly. No, uh-huh. there's video evidence of you being white girl wasted and Wait, acting a video? fool. There's no, video, there's photos, there's everything. It was amazing. How you feel, Bubbles? You all right? I'm alive. You drink enough water? I did. You breathing? I'm breathing. All right. Damn, bro. You missed out, bro. Uh, I got the shits. Un compia had chorro, <laughs> and the otro compia was trying not to barf. <laughs> and I had dick, dick stick on my lips. D- fuck. So. Okay. Yeah. Dick stick. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Awesome. Good Let's Friday. Good Saturday. It, what you what you watching? What you been watching? What you been uh, doing? I watched uh, two movies this week. One we talk about this episode, and the other one is called Ready or Not. So you're going to talk about both of them this episode. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I watched Ready or Not, which is a girl marries into a family, and they have to play a game so she can prove herself. And I just saw a trailer, and that was it. And I thought, hey, let's watch this shit. <laughs> and when I watched it, I came out of the movie with a shitting grin. I had so much fucking fun. I laughed a lot. I wasn't expecting it to be that funny. That's what I heard. That uh, it's a <laughs> under, it's uh, it like flew under people's radar. Like, oh, that's fucking stupid. Yeah, totally. And then you're like, that's actually pretty good. It's, it's yeah. been on my radar, but I, I uh, it's pretty good. I haven't seen it. I mean, we start with what do we start with? Yeah, like a flashback scene, and then. It, Goes into the wedding and whatever, but first of all, the girl Margot Rob. I thought it was Margot Robbie. No, no, it wasn't. I think she. I, I don't know. I don't know who's cuter, but both are cute. This girl's not even close to Margot Robbie. What are you talking? No, about? I know, but she has her quirks. After watching the movie, it's like, mm, it's endearing. Okay, but Do yeah, not compare anybody to Margot Robbie. Fuck's wrong. I can you. see that. I thought it was her too. No. Yeah. yeah. She no. has the vibe. No. She has. Yeah, she has the vibe. Mm. I don't see it. Okay. Because you're blind. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> but yeah, it's a very fun movie. I highly recommend it. It's at the end, it takes a turn. Don't spoil Caron. I haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to. But it takes a turn, a strange turn. And I was like, okay, that's strange. But <laughs> the, you think it's going to be the same movie about the stupid mm. blonde mm-hmm. that does dumb shit. But no, it's actually pretty well written. Hmm. And it's pretty well paced. And hmm. the characters in the movie are actually smart. Except hmm. for one. But they're actually smart. Because hmm. everything about this movie screams Walmart bar- uh, bargain bin. Yeah. Yeah. At, at, at the beginning. Team. And I still hope it is. Because I would pick it up if it's cheap as hell. Uh, to watch it or whatever. But yeah, I've, I was interested about it. Yeah. Because I'm, of the reviews. Yeah, I'm buying on Blu-ray. Damn. Now, yeah, you I mean, watching this one with me, Bubbles. What? Well, he sold it to me. Okay. Well, you finally did a good job, bro. Yeah, if I, as a salesman, when <laughs> I'm not working as a salesman, I make a good sales pitch. Forty-two episodes later, you got one. <laughs> Yay! I'm happy with this. Bubbles, you been doing, bro? Other than turning up, getting lit, getting litty. I. Went to Netflix to finish my lists, but I stumbled upon Post. <laughs> That's uh, the dopest series of the year. Post. Okay, what's it about? Well, <laughs> loaded what question. Is it not about? <laughs> oh. It's about the life of LGBT people in the late eighties. Wow, in the, it's not the Bronx, is it? Is it the Bronx? It's New York, I think. New York. Yes. It's about the ball scene. It's it's shade the drama ball love. Scene. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thought he said ballsy. You could, no, you gotta remember Mark Cartor. Other than that, my homie is straight. He don't know what the ball scene is. Yeah, I don't but know. But he's what... seen RuPaul's Drag Race, so yeah, I have. So you know what the balls are? No. See, would you like to expand? Yes, he do. Well, can you explain it? Can you mansplain it to me, please? 
Girls playing it? Yeah, girls playing it. Queens playing it. It's complicated, but like. It's, a, it's an awards, bro. It's not that complicated. It's a, it's a ball is an award? No, not no. shell. It's like a. You could say like maybe like a contest. Okay. It's like a party slash contest where there's categories and whoever presents the most of a certain category will win a trophy and the trophy goes like towards your house. It sounds fucking dope. <laughs> oh, so, so, so RuPaul is that? Kinda. Kinda. So wow. you know how he says category is this this walk is whatever the hell. Yeah. That's one of the categories that takes place in the balls. And in the balls, there could be 30, 20, whatever okay. the categories this are. It's not just one. It's a lot. There's a bunch of them. Category mm-hmm. is butch queen realness. And you have to come out and do whatever. And then what's another one? Oh, that's when you explain realness to there's me. A, there's, a, there's a lot of them. There's yeah. like, like a sailor. And you have to go dress like a sailor. Or and you're dancing to the song or whatever. Or whatever. That's just like. So it's a show. That's No. It's a TV show, like a drama, you could say. Like it, that's just a small Poses. part of it. Yeah, okay. It's a small part of it because they focus also on, like on the AIDS epidemic and shit. And there's drama, there's shade, there's faggotry. I'm down. You can say that. So I was like, oh, it's on, and I watched the whole series. It came out last year. We binged the first season. The second season we finished also, and I wasn't going to plan on talking about it because it's. More for him. I thought we did. No, no, you didn't. We probably glazed over it. Oh, oh, uh, I'm not sure I would recommend it to you, <laughs> but it's fun. It's all right. Okay. You gotta be into the source material a little bit, or, or give a shit. Okay. You can't just be like, ah, let's see what these homos are doing. You kind of want to have to care. It's not like watching Queer Eye, right? No, that's real. Mm-hmm. To an extent. Mm-hmm. This is more uh, revolved around the culture and the struggle, mm. and I mean, it's about AIDS. Like people are dropping like flies in the series, Shit. so you don't know who's gonna go next. Okay. Uh, the balls and all this—that's just like a side thing, but it's still it's still fun, you know. It's the balls and whatever revolves around that, right? Mm. Well, there's struggles that you know. Does, does she pass as a female because she's trying to be a female? And this girl books a modeling gig, and they think she's a girl, and then she gets discovered that she's not, and it's all this drama. It's produced by FX. I trust FX. Okay. FX yeah. is dope with their series. Ryan Murphy. Ryan Murphy is also part of it, so it's along a lot. If you like Ryan Murphy, you're going to like this stuff. What has Ryan Murphy done? Bruh. <laughs> School him, please. I mean... For starters, the most important, the most iconic, and okay. the best show that's ever been done. Three good Glee. seasons. Oh, shit. American okay. Horror Story, American Crime Story. 911, that's on Fox right now, that's whatever. Mm-hmm. He's in a couple of stuff. He's in a bunch of shit. There's another one that I forgot that's new. There's a few that were like, fell flat or whatever. Scream Queens also. Oh, like you didn't that like one? that one? Yeah, I, but it's not, I just it's watched not as, one episode of that, and that's it. It's not as campy as that. This is way more serious. No, 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 yeah. Real, I guess. Uh, wow. But, I mean, Ryan Murphy is attached to good shows, or yeah. mostly good yeah. shows. I'm talking yeah. about screen, uh, American Horror Story and Glee. Mostly Glee. Glee's all right. Well, Glee was a phenomenon. I mean. It was good for okay. five seasons, and then it just was whatever. Uh, I agree to that. After I watched it my with husband you. Died. It's funny. It was it your was, husband. Yes. Mm. He is type. <laughs> hmm? Is Finn was was Finn his type? Yeah. Okay. Uh yeah. Okay. Anyway. But that show produced like whatever. I'm not gonna get into it. But yeah. <laughs> Calls is good. I like it. Okay. I watched it with him. I'm not sure if I would season. recommend it to the regular it's folk. A, it's hard to recommend to it. To the regular folk. <laughs> but yeah. Good. I saw something that you might like. What is it? So it's like I finished, I actually finished it because I started watching it a long ago, long time ago now. I finished it. It's called Backstreet Boys, I think. I don't know if you've seen it. It's no. on Netflix. No. It's, so I don't picture know. this mm. it's about a group. members or group of the Jacuzzi. And they were like in some sort of, I guess, like gang fight against another house and somehow they lost so they disappointed their master i guess is that what they call it master yeah, yeah. boss do or boss 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 no boss do no <laughs> boss so he's too disappointed but instead of killing them he <laughs> sends are you okay? He knows because I told him a while no, back. Oh, I remember. And I watched proceed. like six episodes of it. Yeah. Proceed, proceed, proceed. 
So instead of killing them, he sent them to Thailand. He said, I don't remember if it's Thailand or the Philippines. Yeah. To become girls. Yeah. <laughs> to create a K pop. Is it K pop? J pop? One of them. One of them. And I don't know, get money. Make. They have to make money for the boss, right? Yeah. Jesus to Christ. To pay back whatever they did, yeah. I think the first three episodes are the funniest. The other one's like, eh. I think that's the ones we saw. Yeah, because these didn't come back around. To the it. other episodes delve into the story of each one, how they're but changing. But they're fucking hot, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, chill. This is cartoons. I know. Who gives they're a like fuck? They're like hot. And the, but they're getting attention big by Chi Chi's way, right? I mean, they're getting yeah. attention by really creepy dudes, but inside they're like Yakuza members, and they're like, "Dude, what the hell?" It's a very odd show. It's just I would never thought of it. Why would you think he would like it? Because it's anime and big titties. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, and he has a big point That's on that one, right? Two Sounds big points right. on that one. So it's pretty fun, pretty cool. I would recommend that. Yeah, if you're all bored. <laughs> and I also started playing Tales of Versaria, which is the very similar to the other tale series. I'm only 20 hours in. I haven't had that much time to play. How the f- And I'm 20? only 7% done. I don't the know game. how. Wait, where do you. It's bullshit. What? What? It's like, I'm, I mean, time goes weird for you, or am I just fucking mm. slow? I don't know. I, I've been playing this game. I'm not going to talk about this this week because I'm trying to fin- fucking finish it. And I've been working at it for like a month now. Where did you get time to put 20 hours in? That's not that much and time. And I'm 60 hours in, and I've been playing it for a month and a half now. What the hell? Well, I don't know. Weren't you on this episode last week? You put in 20 hours I I have week? been playing before that. It has been taking me, me a while. I want to finish it, but I'm having fun. But I'm not going to talk about what it is until I'm trying to finish next week. It's tough. Anyway, it feels like time flies differently for different people. It's just weird. Yes. Completely. I mean, Jesus Christ. It's weird. Twenty. I mean, what baffles me is that you got 7% in in 20 hours. Just yeah. 20 hours. Yeah, I'm like, oh, shit. It's going to take a while. It's a JRPG. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck. It's going to take a while. So it's pretty similar to the other one. Same old shit. Just the only thing that's different is that this time the main character, it's a girl. Hmm. And also big old titties. Yeah. And it's a little bit darker, I guess, than the rest. So I think that's, that's it. How about you, Seth? Cool. Well, I uh, I was playing that game that I was talking about, but I took a break because I want to talk about something. And I played Abzu. Heard of Abzu? No. It's in the vein of Journey, a very quick three-hour sit-through. Okay. Go through it. It's very huge on exploration. It's underwater. Oh, no, no. The yeah, yellow one. The yellow guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's swimming around. Uh, it does have long load times, and I did not like that. But it has gorgeous animation. It's gorgeous exploration. You're free, essentially, to roam around and um, unlock things. But there's there's fishes. There's It's very, very, very calming and chill. Okay. It's fun just to swim around. It's more of an experience than, like, story. Not an actual game? Yeah. Um the mission seems just to get to the end and restore life because after each level you're underwater and water comes in. I didn't understand that. It's like SpongeBob. There's water underwater. I mean, that happens. I guess there's lakes underwater and you just add more fish and you're just bringing up more life that had been destroyed by these robot things. It's not that crazy. Okay. Um, the story sounds crazy. Well, the story's told through paintings mm-hmm. of how, in the beginning, there was light, and then these sharks came out and represent the dark. Screwed things over. It's very, very calming and chill, mm-hmm. which I needed this <laughs> okay. week. That's I'll get to in our review. But yeah, <laughs> chill. I'm going to try to finish that long-ass game this week. I'm probably not going to do it, but I'm going to try my best. This. I'm curious as to know what it is. Well, tune in next week to find out what the hell I'm talking about. Okay. And where can they do that, bro? And Geeks, Flicks, and Joysticks on Instagram. They can find me and Jafel91. They can find you at Edward Perazes. They can find Alex and Alex Mack. You can listen to us on iVox, uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and YouTube. Why are you showing me your nails? They're pretty. I know. I saw them all last night. And crawling in wall four. Yeah, YouTube. Go and subscribe. Leave us a comment, rating, or review. Let us know how we're doing to keep doing this. Or are we just wasting our time? 
No, we're not. No, we have having a hell of fun. <laughs> Speaking of hell of fun, would you like to play with me, Britt? Uh, sure. Well, PlayStation's finally caught up, and he's trying to implement crossplay. <gasps> no mames. Yeah, <laughs> they're gonna start with the beta with uh, happy. Call of Duty. Okay. Okay. Shit. You know what crossplay is? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> It's basics. something that the Switch and the Xbox. Xbox have had for a while now. Mm-hmm. Well, now, Rocket League mostly. Yeah, now PlayStation is like, all right, fine. We'll join it. Which <laughs> seems something that should have happened a while ago. Like, I thought the three they're gonna, uh, the three were going to join up to kind of compete against Stadia. Stadia? Mm, maybe that's what it is. Yeah. But why, they could probably be cross-play with that eventually, too. Remember? World peace is all <laughs> held behind the fact that we could all play together no matter what console you are. Yeah, I concur on Do that one. Do you the know console wars make it sound so terrible? You know, even here on the show, we draw a line, I draw a line yeah. with PlayStation and Xbox. It's all shits and giggles. It's yeah, fun. it's for fun. It's for fun. Yeah. That's why even, even if I die, I'm like, I'm going to give my PlayStation to Felix's brother oh. with the claws that he doesn't let him play ever. Oh. Just to keep the bit. The bit never dies. <laughs> no. Uh, 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 I mean, one would eventually think that it dies, but no. No. no, no. It's let permanent. The, let the bit live on. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what uh, PlayStation. So, you're, you're not a huge. Well, none of us are huge online players. No. I don't I f- like playing online. I feel like that's a whole other crevice of the gaming world. And it's a big one. Yeah. It was online play that I just. No. I think now. It's a minority that people who like to play just yeah. by themselves. Yeah. Because there's more g- online heavy games. And even last week, when we talk about it, when a game doesn't have an online multiplayer feature, it's a news with Last of Us. It's, there's not going to be uh, online. People are like, oh, damn. You know, it's a big deal. And um, I remember that back in the day, it was a huge deal if you had uh, co op play. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather have couch co op all the time. Yeah. yeah. It's more fun. I get it. It's a it's a social thing. I get it both ways. I understand it. Um, but no. But we ain't social fucks. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like playing online either. No, hell no. I don't like it. I don't like socializing with people. I don't know. We are weird online, at least. Well, I mean, I've played online, but I, I won't hop on there by myself. Like I'll play I'll play Call of Duty with my brother against people. And I, that's fun or whatever. And I've played online, but I suck balls. Yeah, you just, yes. you're just so quick. <laughs> Remember Garbage the time trash. we were playing the the demo? Yeah. I was shooting at the air. I'm like, bro, that's card. What are you shooting at? And I shot the guy. <laughs> anyway. Highlight of my life. Yeah. Um, I'm looking for a segue, and there isn't one. Stranger Things. We got a quick 30 second snippet announcement for season four. But behind that, the bigger news is that the Duffer Brothers got a nine-figure deal for more series and potentially a movie for Netflix. Is it strictly Stranger Things or in Not general? Not necessarily. Nine figures. Nine figures. That's a lot. Yeah. I, th- I think that's too too much for my head to comprehend. I don't understand how Netflix has all this cash to throw around, but it's like... Can't buy friends again? Right. <laughs> but it's like, I don't understand how you make money. I get it, the subscriptions, but I just don't understand it. Like I, we'll talk about later on. You put these massive, massive, huge movies on there, but we already paid for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just don't understand how they make more money, how they have that mo- Like pe- more people are coming in. And one would say it would be ads, but there's no ads on Netflix. No. I mean, maybe they're just making shit ton of money as it is already. What is it up to thirteen or whatever a month? What? And I don't, I don't know how yeah. I know the numbers of how many subscribers there is, but let's say there's a million. That's thirteen million a month or whatever. Mm-hmm. There's probably more than a million worldwide. Oh hell yeah! I just you don't got, understand. I don't. I don't get it. You just but get. I'm what? not complaining. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> I would be more interested in a. Stranger, non Stranger Things, Duffer Brothers IP. See what they could deliver. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see I'm how curious. they treat some other stuff other than yeah, maybe, nostalgia. Yeah, maybe they they get out of the horror realm. I don't know. Well, not even the horror realm, the nostalgia realm, because they're playing with the nostalgia a lot. Yeah. Would you watch Duffer Brothers production? I'll give it a try, yeah. 
I don't think you're that convinced. That didn't sound convincing. No. <laughs> I'm sure I'm down. If it's Netflix, I mean, it's going to be there. You're right. The fact that it's Netflix, and that's what I mean. It's Netflix. You already had it. Have it. Why don't you watch it? You'll watch it. Yeah. But that doesn't generate you any more money, is what I'm saying. Yeah, that's that's a very strange one because they got forty million over here for Chappelle, and then the the uh, Chris Rock they gave her so much money, and then so and so gets uh, so forty. Like, where the hell you get all this money from? Wait, Chappelle was forty? Think so for four specials or something. Even if you say thirty, even if you say ten, that's too much money. <laughs> the specifics aren't correct, but yeah. <laughs> I just don't understand how they, they make threw money. bags of money at him. Yeah, that's why they're successful because I don't understand what the hell's going on. And it's kind of strange because, I mean, think about that. You make me think about uh, the movie theater, the theater industry. Mm -hmm. That now, for example, I went to watch uh, a movie today. It started allegedly at 140, but it actually started at 2. Because there was 20 minutes of paid promotions. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, that's how movie theaters make their money, actually. They make their money off of the candy. And the soda. Oh no, the candy and the soda. But the big bucks, they go through that. So we we get a lot of national brands promoting themselves, and we don't get the fucking movie, or we don't get any movie trailers. Mm -hmm. So I get that, and yeah, the candy store is fucking expensive. But yeah, yeah, and we don't have any of that in Netflix. I mean, I get that you pay a a monthly fee, so you don't have that. But it's kind of strange, or makes you think how they get the money. Obviously, a more intelligent person is going to tell us, hey, they do that. Yeah, but, but we're not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're we not. just ask questions. Hell yeah. Trailer talk, bro. <laughs> What's the matter? To, to do trailer, duh. To do trailer. I really want a thing like that. All right. What the first one? Speaking of... Was it Netflix? <laughs> I forgot. Fuck it. Let's say it's Netflix. If it's not, I apologize. I Lost My Body. This is an animated movie. And it's a story of a young man who fell, falls in love, and in another part of the town, a severed hand escapes from a, dis- a dissection lab, determined to find its body. Again. It is Netflix. Yeah, it's okay, Netflix. I forgot if it was Netflix. What you thought about this one? Mm, I kind of spaced out in the middle of it. Mm-hmm. There was too much going on in the trailer. Or yeah, there mm-hmm. was too much. I like I was a hand, and there these kid and the beat. What? What? Yeah. Um, meh, I don't know. It's like, if it's like an hour, I'll probably watch it or an hour or less, maybe. It looks remarkable for it. Like, I, it, it piqued my interest. It, I will give it a, I'll give it a try. It's Netflix. We all have it. But <laughs> yeah, uh, there was a bunch of award, you know, the typical award dick sucking that happens before every trailer now yeah. or every good movie now. <laughs> yeah. So it's all around. I'll check it out. Uh, the art looks original and different i don't recall anything that kind of looks kind of like that you remind me to the ghibli things a little bit yeah but it also had like the like, by uh, spider-man into the spider-verse like section. shading stuff right mm, kind of yeah it had some details of it it piqued my interest it looked it looked fun to me yeah maybe not fun but <laughs> like it's a good it's gonna be a good watch yeah like it's a art piece mm-hmm. i'm down sure i'm too the artwork i mean the colors piqued me more because it was it was colorful, but it was kind of washed out. Right. And the fact that it's just a hand, that's what's like it nicking at me. Mm-hmm. So you see everything from the perspective of the hand. What would your hand be looking at? Well, <laughs> um, people would not like to, to hear that. <laughs> your hand would probably would want to run away from your body. Um, I think my body will run away away from my body. (laughs) Imagine my hairy torso rolling down the street. I don't want to imagine nothing (laughs) of yours rolling down nothing. I'm good. Like a turd in the wind. (laughs) Moving on, keeping with the Netflix theme, which was surprisingly to both of y'all, is the Ryan Reynolds, Michael Bay movie, Six Underground. And it's uh, it's a movie where uh, six untraceable agents totally off the grid they've buried their past so they can change the future oh that's such a michael bay description <laughs> yeah with pew pews yeah so there's a lot of pew pews and boom booms <laughs> yeah and glare and drone shots and hotels and, and hot women me has yeah and there's a giant magnet on a boat there's brian reynolds making funny quips being himself yeah thoughts 
This has nothing for you at all. Maybe no. the one blonde guy he found attractive, but that was about it. Because you don't give a the shit one with the accent, Ryan Reynolds. I don't you don't remember? <laughs> uh, no, it's not much for me. Like I probably watch it. Maybe um, that was Shooketh. It was for Netflix. Because the budget on it looks crazy. Yeah, and like the Will Smith movie that's coming out already. You're going to see next week. <laughs> but I might watch it. I might not. I don't know. I'm on the fence about it. I know he's watching. I'm watching. Because there's explosions, there's pew-pews, there's Ryan Reynolds, and there's a hot woman. Which, we were talking, and it looks like what? Isa Gonzalez, looks, you said? It, she looks like Isa, and at the time she kind of looks like Gal. I didn't know who she was. And I thought it would look like Olivia Munn. No. But she didn't have the body of Olivia no, Munn. No, she was skinnier. Yeah. I don't know, but that's Mija, and mm-hmm. I'm going to check it out. Mm-hmm. This, this movie just looks like crazy, stupid time a, a mindless movie i'm down <laughs> yeah <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember other than deadpool is he has giant ryan reynolds done like a crazy action movie like this uh yeah the the one with the bodyguard with samuel L. jackson mm, which i didn't see the something bodyguards bodyguard or the, uh, like. yeah that one and a uh, shit movie with jeff bridges called rip oh, R- that's R- rpd right. that's right the one where they're one of them is dead or something. Both of them are dead. Yeah. And no. Kevin Bacon is in it. It's no. that's a that's a bad movie. This looks better than that. Way better. No, I, I would imagine it is. <laughs> and RPD is still on Netflix, so you don't watch it. Ew. He looks the same in every movie, and he acts the same in everybody. No, and nobody seems to care. They was like, man, because good. we know what we're getting in. Yeah, too, and we like it. I, I mean, even in Pikachu, he was the same. Yeah. Everything he's the same. There, I think the, was, the quips felt toned down a little bit on this one, maybe a little bit, well, maybe because it was a trailer, a little bit, and it was a long maybe. ass trailer. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a whole movie, actually. Uh, well, maybe <laughs> <laughs> just cut out the the <laughs> the slow parts. I'm like, this is a dumb movie. You don't need to see it. You could probably figure it out. You can watch the trailer. I think that's like, that got the best parts, right? But still, I, I'm checking it out. But yeah, he does act the same, but. He gets a pass for some reason because he yeah. did Deadpool, I guess. He's, he's charismatic, maybe. I guess, yeah. Yeah, he's got all the charm and it's funny. Yeah, it's his style, but it's funny. Yeah, I'm down. I might be. Might be. I mean, if I watch <laughs> fucking what's the name of that shit, Fast and the Furious, Shaw and something. Hobbs and Shaw. This seems Which along he the was same in that one too. Line. Yeah. Oh shit! Acting the same. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> Yeah, and this is going to be free. Well, not free. It's on Netflix. <laughs> well, it depends on the w- you're watching. What you're watching? I don't know. I think I saw a hot guy, so I'll give it a chance. That's the hot guy I was talking about. Okay. I know this bitch. I'm telling you. <laughs> anyway, moving on. This will not be on Netflix, but will certain get a view from me. It's The Gentleman. Again, The Gentleman. It's Guy Ritchie's movie. He wrote it. He directed it. Matthew McConaughey. Um, Douchebag. Hugh, not Grant. Hugh, Hugh Grant. Is it Grant? I was thinking of Hugh Laurie. That's the other guy. <laughs> that's House. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the gentleman. It's a very British drug lord tried to sell off his highly profitable empire to a dynasty of Oklahoma billionaires. Henry Golding is in this one. This is the, the Chinito from, uh, or the Asian guy from Crazy, Rich, Crazy Asians. Rich Asians. Which is a good movie. You should watch it. Yeah, it's fun. Um, McConaughey's in it being McConaughey. It's a Guy Ritchie movie. Do you know of any bad Guy Ritchie movies? Bad ones? Yeah. The King Arthur one? I actually like that one. Mm. Hmm. I mean, no surprise. I haven't seen it. I just heard it was terrible. Uh, uh, That's the one that came to mind. His last yeah. movie was Aladdin. Oh. Wait. Neta? I forgot about that. Guy Ritchie directed Aladdin. Holy shit. <laughs> How did that I don't know pass what my mind? I don't know what you're thinking about, but yeah. <laughs> I'm curious about your thoughts. Your face is telling me, fuck no. What? What? what why? why are you looking at me like that? Yeah, why are you... Sort of, uh, it looks pretty cool. Are you for real? No. <laughs> <laughs> it looks... It looks... Blah. That's Guy Ritchie movie. Yeah. I was shook to see on Hugh Grant, like, looking old. I was like, oh, he's yeah. He's a motherfucker. But he's... He was like he didn't look that old before. Like it was, it was different. Maybe because he got thick. I guess I don't know. I was just shook about that. But I probably won't watch. No, no, none of this is no. you at all. No, no, big pass. 
I'm watching. I mean, for me, Guy Ritchie is a stamp of success. Even for King Arthur. King Arthur, I mean, I can accept it's a bad movie, but I like it. Like Daredevil. It's a shit movie, and I like it. I mean, it's not hard to sell shit on, to you, though. No, no, it's, it's, it's really not. It's really, really not. not. It's really not. Yeah, so if I do a recommendation, don't listen to me. No, yeah. She give you a <laughs> chance, but just remember, he gave you the recommendation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Felix Stamp of Doubt Approval. Yeah, the, there's a place for this movie right now. Like, there, there's there's nothing that comes to mind quite like it right now. Mm-hmm. Maybe they... No, not even. It's a good time Which for one? a Guy Ritchie movie. This one. No, no, no. What were you comparing it in your mind? The one with the with the all-female cast that they're trying to do a heist or something, but no. With the Tiffany Haddish and the, and the McCarthy's and the, I forget who else is in it. I do not remember. I think we talked. Ca- yeah, we talked about this, yeah. but I can't remember maybe what's the, the name. Irishman, maybe. But uh, no, but no, they they both feel different. No, but I, I think the gentleman. I mean, Guy Ritchie movies are quirky. Yeah, and you have there. They have a beat. So this gave me like lock, stock, smoke, and barrels. Hell yeah! Gave me uh, snatch. Snatch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Recommendations. You for like bubbles. snatch, ah, huh, bubbles? You love it. I like snatch game. <laughs> anyway, we're watching this shit. Yeah, I think it said it come out December fourteenth, or was that the other one? I think it said coming soon. December thirteenth was the uh, Six Underground. I got them mixed up. Yeah, I can't remember this one. I don't think it did, but I'm down. Sure, bring it. Finally, something Bubbles would like. God damn, <laughs> your face, man. I like it very much too. Okay. I'm down. <laughs> I'm talking about Birds of Prey, and I'm not saying the rest of the title. Birds of Prey dropped this full trailer this week. The one we talked about last few weeks ago was the teaser. teaser. So this is a, uh, is a trailer. And after splitting up with the Joker, Harley Quinn joins superheroes Black Canary, Huntress, and Renee Montoya to save a young girl from an evil crime lord. That evil crime lord is Black Mask, played by Edwin McGregor. Hello there. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> I think it's around the same time. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. We wanted to see what you were going to say. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this is all me. It's silly, colorful, faggotry, girl power, glitter, titties, awesome outfits, pink glitter, bitches left and right. This is everything the Joker is not. So it's just, it makes me happy. I'm not. I don't. I don't think it's gonna be that good. But it's really? gonna be like. I don't think it's gonna be like. I don't know how, what. I don't know. But the plot I'm excited for it. But I don't think it's gonna be like. Oh, it's a fucking good ass movie. Like. No, 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 no. But we're we're not expecting that. I'm just expecting fun. Yeah, silly, silly, silly. But kicking. I feel like I'm gonna put it up there with Wonder Mija, Aquaman, and I think it's gonna slide in my number three what? or two slot. That's what I'm expecting from this movie. You're moving Shazam to four? Yeah. What? Neta. Mm-hmm. So I'm expecting it to be in between. It's going to be top three DC movie. Mm-hmm. Well, Joker don't count. Or just, wait, ooh. Does Joker count? <laughs> yes. No. 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 If, if because it's not DCEU. If, uh, yeah. That's if you say DC about. movie, yeah. No, DCEU movies. Mm-hmm. No. No. In the DCEU, I think I'm ex- the expectations for this movie to me. It's top three. Okay. I'm a little disappointed that there's no Poison Ivy and the other heroes, uh, ladies, don't look that much interesting so far. It's Black but, Mary. But I'm stoked. Definitely stoked. It's kind of like here, meet these other ones, uh, but there's also Harley. You know what I mean? Yeah. The, uh, maybe they didn't want to go too kinda recognizable. Kind it's going to be until next fucking year. Bro, it's like five months away. That's a lot of time. February 2020. That's a lot. Is it? It no, is. It's not. It's not. It's almost half a year. It's close. But, you, I mean, if you take into account what's up to, what's what's next coming? Nothing. There's a whole <laughs> bunch of shit. <laughs> like what? <laughs> well, for you. Just Maleficent. We got Maleficent, which I forgot. And then we got Frozen. Mm-hmm. We got yeah, Star too. Wars. Blech. We got Cats. Hmm? So there's, that's four weeks already. I guess. <laughs> what do you think about it, Felix? I think I'm going to have fun. I hope I have fun. I only recognize Harley, which is the most recognizable. I recognize, yeah. yeah. 
Black Canary, and just because the water started yeah. vibrating, and Huntress, which so is everybody. Pretty, <laughs> no, not well, only three of five. I didn't know Ewan was going to play Black Mask. Because he's not wearing a fucking black mask. Which uh, pisses when you, me off. Yeah, which when you said it, it was like, okay, dude, what the fuck? Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, that's, and, the, that's Black Mask character. He's wearing a black mask. And in some cases, you don't know who it is. And in the uh, Arkham Origins, it turns out to be Joker. Mm-hmm. Spoiler alert. So, so it's like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> so it's like, uh, he doesn't have a black mask? That. That's a little weird, but all right. Maybe they put they put the mask at the end because it's going to be disfigured. Maybe it's foam. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's foam? Maybe it's funny. Oh. Like, <laughs> I don't need this thing or something. Okay. Or whatever. I'm pretty or whatever. I don't know. I know I'm going to have fun. Well, I don't know. Because I said that uh, for Suicide Squad and that was shit. Hey. For me. Mm. That was also a Harley Quinn heavy movie. Mm-hmm. That was her movie. Yeah. She was the only bright light on it. Uh, yeah. I actually watched the movie again. Okay. I think you said yeah. that already. I like that movie. <laughs> you said that already. <laughs> I'm stoked. Sure. Yeah. What are your expectations? Is it going to be your favorite DC? What's uh, your favorite DC? I don't the know. Justice League was number number one for you. Probably. I forgot about that one. That's not even in my top three. What? Yo, whack. I just like the the Steelbook box. Mm. That's okay. why I bought it. All right. Think we'll That's fair. We'll the favorite <laughs> part of the movie is the box. Yeah. We'll see. Stout. <laughs> Moving on. Riveting. So I'm I'm scared. I'm sweating. It's not even hot. I'm scared for this next part. Why? Because we're going into the Joker review, bro. Shit. Shit. <sighs> okay. Should we do a disclaimer slash announcement slash PSA? No, I want to do spoiler free first, so try to restrain yourself, and then we're gonna go hardcore. And okay, then I'll shut the fuck up. Then we go hardcore towards the end. <clears throat> Dios mío. Okay. I need it. Y'all ready? Yes. This is our review of the Joker. Hmm. El guasón. El guasón. Do so any of you know what el guasón is? Hate no. that word. Don't it's know what stupid. it is. It sounds, sounds stupid. Dumb. Is it? I thought it was like some sort of animal. Is it not? No. no. It sounds like a bird to me. So, I just to me, it just doesn't make sense. Guason. That's the translation of the joke. I just think of a thick bone. <laughs> that's a guason. <laughs> but yeah, that's all right. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna kick it off. I wanted to start, but I know Bubbles is gonna come hard with his facts and his <laughs> stuff and fuck me up. <laughs> so. Start. Go ahead. Me? Yeah, you. Me? Yeah. I'm going to start? Yes. What you thought about it? Because you had... These are notes. Oh, shit! Actually made some words. They're not notes. They're just bullet points. Okay, hold on. Same shit. Are any of them spoilers? No. Okay. Uh, So, to reiterate what we said last week, try try to hold off the spoilers. It's not spoilers. Um, You weren't excited for his movie at all? No. You've been shitting on the trailer for weeks now? Yes. And because of the controversy, it changed your mind. Yes. And made you want to go see it. Yes. Are you glad you saw it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Just to be hip, to in, know what's going on. Know. Yeah. 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 Because after seeing it, I definitely understand the controversy now. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And I get it, which I will get I in the spoiler. I'll, I'll explain it to you. Okay. But proceed with your four points. <clears throat> Welcome. Uh, so what I thought about it is that it was uh, somewhat violent, somewhat sad, somewhat funny, somewhat cringy. That's how I would resume the whole movie. I, re- I really didn't think it was going to be violent at all or that much apart from when we saw the trailer and i I don't think it was well a little bit okay what did let me let me backtrack there's so much you said in two things yeah (laughs) without spoiling what was cringy uh most of it i remember like his his embarrassment his interaction with 
people. Mm, okay. Like not cringy in a bad way, like cringy like, in a yeah, good like, way. Like oh, like but like you you you're feeling you feel yeah. empathetic towards him. Yeah, because he's going through embarrassment or whatever. Okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Not not in a bad way. Okay, I get that part. Um, uh, what was the second one? Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of somewhats in that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Jesus. It's because I was, I think the movie is a compilation of just somewhats. It wasn't very much something. It was just a little this, a little this, a little this, a little that, and that made the whole movie. Uh-huh. Even makes sense. Kind of. I have um a little sad. I mean, somewhat sad, mm-hmm. somewhat funny, mm-hmm. somewhat violent, somewhat cringy. Oh, okay. The violence. I want to. You touched upon the violence. What did you expect this movie was going to be? Because I feel the need to let people know what kind of movie this is. The people that I've heard that do not like this movie is because they expected completely different things. So, what did you think the movie was going to be? Pretty much just, um, yeah, just how the, a, a different take on the character of the Joker. I think it was already told to us. It was nothing going to be related to the um, the, the MCU, DCU, whatever. It was going to be his own thing, like all all the way over there. Something different. Yeah. Yeah. So. I went in like open minded just to see what the fuck, and I found it very interesting. It was a very, very interesting take on the character, mm-hmm. and the little um, nods to the whole ba- Batman unibor- universe. Universe, um, I would say it's a good movie. So the people again, the people that said that don't like it is because they do not know what this movie is. This movie is not a superhero movie. Not by a long shot. There is no superheroes. There is no like so, fighting, like me versus you type of fighting. I haven't heard anybody say that they didn't. They didn't I heard like a it. couple. I heard a couple. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to quote one of the people that they said what they thought about it because it's not PC. But um, they they was like this one person that I don't really know. I just heard it. He was like, oh, they made him look R-worded. They make it look what? They made the Joker look R-worded. I don't want to say retrasado. Oh, oh They okay, made him okay. look like that. And I was like, no. no, no. You, com- miss, com- you missed the movie <clears throat> completely. completely. I feel that like wasn't the point. mental illness is like the big, correct. Yes. The big thing yes. in the whole That's movie. That's the protagonist. One would say, and it's not, and it's not funny. No. Like it's not funny. He actually was able to make laughter not funny. He has a condition. I forgot to write it down. What it's called, where he starts to laugh uncontrollably. Yeah, and it's that creepy ass laugh. So when he's laughing, it's usually uncomfortable or cringy moments, parts in the movie, where you just don't know what the hell he's feeling. Yeah, close it. Um. Uh, there was a phone in the background. Sorry. So when he's laughing, the first few times you want to laugh with him because you don't know this that this mental illness is a part of it. Because it opens with a laugh, right? Yeah. So once he starts, once you start realizing that he's laughing and he's in some scenes crying because he doesn't really know how to control it, mm-hmm. and he starts doing it throughout the movie, you're like, holy shit, it's not funny. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm all over the place. I'm gonna kick it over to you. <laughs> Just bland thoughts. What you thought about it? Then we're gonna spoil it. It 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 was hard to digest it because it was heavy. It was dense, and to try to pick it apart was making it uh, was giving it a disservice. So like for uh, I'm not gonna give examples right now, but since it's really heavy on mental illness and what happens when you kick a mental person to society or some gets rejected by yeah society. gets rejected by society it's very hard to look at how he degrades and i really like the movie because it made me think it made me feel something that i haven't felt in a long time it was uncomfortable and aware there was so many emotions you said it even in your review there was sad. There was cre- there were so many emotions in this in this movie that within myself also, it's 
it's like you said, coming out of the theater, I just don't know what what to do with myself. Mm -hmm. Like it took me time to digest a stupid movie like Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> yeah. Now imagine this shit. Yeah. So this movie is so raw. It's unsettling. I was legit frightened. I'll get into it in the spoiler, but I was frightened about this movie. Mm -hmm. The tension that builds up dur during the movie makes you so uncomfortable. Joaquin Felix, Phoenix, Felix. <laughs> Thank you. Joaquin Phoenix should win a damn award. I will be probably a little pissed if he doesn't. I've seen maybe not every movie, but he, he knocked it out of the part. His, yeah. From his physique, he was skinny. I think he lost 40, 30 or 40 pounds. Which is a lot. Which is hell a lot. He's probably the perfect guy to play this Joker. He's a weird guy. <laughs> yeah. You watch his interviews and he's weird. And he's very particular which, uh, with the movies he che chooses, right? Yeah. And he was bone chilling. He was frightening. He's not physically imposing. But yet he's, Which is a frightening part. Which would, makes you... It just made me more uncomfortable. Um, Todd Phillips' vision was dope. The way it's shot. There's a bunch of shots him when he's going up the stairs, when he's going down the stairs. That going up and down is so pivotal in the movie. Because when he's going up the stairs, it's shot looking down. And that represents something. And mm -hmm. when he's coming down the stairs, it's shot looking down, up. And it's a... Mm -hmm. it's. It's, I feel like it's the literal arc of the character. Because yeah. when he's going up, he's one thing. And when he's coming down, he's completely different. Um, the the It's so weird to have a miserable movie look so colorful. Yeah, I, I had a lot of... Well, not problems, but it, that's one of the things that made me feel strange. Because it's too colorful. You have a lot of bright colors. You have a lot of sounds. The soundtrack... It's dope. Cristo, we fucking shit... The soundtrack made me feel stuff. Yeah. Which is the strangest thing because it was a minute since this. I mean, I, I, I say a lot. I like the soundtrack, but this one tickled my string. It stood out. And I like Godzilla? See, sí, wait, no mames. <laughs> and I love Serge Dankian. <laughs> and I watched it twice. And the second viewing, I saw a lot of stuff that I maybe missed in the first one, mm -hmm. which is, for example, no spoiler, but he actually has two types of laugh. Mm -hmm. When he laughs because of the illness, and he's trying to laugh to make people think he's laughing of something. Yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, and that one was the laugh that uh, really got to me. Yeah, because what all the things it had behind, and he hunched one arm. Because mm. I thought like his proportion is kind of strange, and when I pinpointed what what it was, it made me uncomfortable because. Joaquin Phoenix is like that the whole movie. Yeah. Like his. L I'm sure there's a lot of things we missed. Yeah. Like the people we saw it with point this out because it's happened to them. Towards the end when he's smoking and he's smoking during the whole movie, mm -hmm. he, his, the tip of his fingers are oh. yellow. I thought it was because of the black things. No, it, it's yellow because of the nicotine off the cigarettes. Neta? They noticed it because after nights of smoking, they would wake up and they would have the tip of their fingers yellow. yellow. It's from the nicotine of the cigarettes. I didn't notice that. I don't smoke. Wow. I wouldn't know that. But I bet you there's a million things that we that we overlooked. Mm -hmm. Bringing it back to the violence. Is the movie violent? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it the most terrible thing I've ever seen physically? No. I've seen John Wick where he stabs somebody with a book and Godzilla eating people in half and Rambo shooting little kids, etc. But... The way this this movie is is so raw and personal, everything feels, everything is added to I, the tension. Can, so it's so close and compact. Some of the violence you're not expecting it when it happens. There's not much violent in it. It's just the acts of it are terribly violent. You know what I mean? Mm. There's only like three or four crazy violent scenes. Mm -hmm. So. The violence is, is so personal that it, it feels it's disturbing. And not only that, it's personal. It's something that happens every day and we don't yeah. see it because of how we move in life. Yeah. So 
Any spoiler free th- thoughts? I want to get into the spoiler shit so bad. I mean, I watched it two times in the theater, and I still feel strange. Mm-hmm. It makes me feel weird. Yeah. And I love it because of that. But uh, it, it, it unsettles me too much because he had a mental illness and that le- that summarized with whatever happened after that led to him being the Joker but or Joker. And the thing is that that can happen to whoever. And, the, and Joker tells it in The Killing Joke, like, you only need a push. Yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. And that's what, that's what creeped me out the most. That this could happen to a person. So I find I kind of like these psych. I love these psych movies. When you ask me what my favorite movie is, it takes me a minute. But after looking upon, like my first answer are going to be like childhood movies, like The Sandlot and mm-hmm. whatever. Nah. But now after blanking. blanking, after watching these movies, older movies that have stuck to me, I have a very psychological aspect attachment to it. So now I would put. One flew over the cuckoo's net out on the top because you just don't understand. You're trying to understand Nicholson the whole, the whole movie, and his performance is great in that. I also love Falling Down, mm, the Jack Nicholson yeah. movie, the, no, the Michael Douglas Mike, movie, yeah. where he's sitting in the car and he just snaps. And now I would put this movie in my top five favorite movies for that same thing. It made me feel so many things that to this day I do not understand. So the part that really got me there's no spoilers, but it, see I'll give you guys each twenty bucks if I start crying. But when he says I'm invisible, there's so much wrong with him that you can relate to him somehow. Whether you understand mental illness, whether you yeah. have something f- that he's expressing you also feel. So in society, I feel invisible. Mm-hmm. All right. And it's weird because I'm a six, five, 300 pound dude who's walking around the world and I just feel invisible. I don't feel noticed. I don't feel that I'm seen. I'm not a narcissist. I do not need or crave that attention, but it's something that I notice. Mm-hmm. Literally I'm on the subway kind of dancing and no one sees me i'm not doing it because i want the attention it's just i'm listening to music and i'm bobbing or whatever and you feel the flow and i feel the flow but no one's looking at me i love to look at people i just read (laughs) them up and down i feel invisible when i'm walking down the street with this bitch everybody's looking at him Mm -hmm. he doesn't maybe he don't notice or whatever maybe it's because he's a dude wearing a dress or wearing a wig he commands the attention i don't have a problem with that but the line that i feel invisible or I just told you I feel invisible and you did nothing. It really made me empathize and be on his side, which is fucked up <laughs> because he's mentally ill yeah. and the acts that he's doing are not to be supported. No. I mean, the th- one of the things is that you, you're you always on his side. And you're not supposed to be. No. That's the conflict in the movie. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. And then he's doing something horrific and you yourself are like justifying why well, he's he doing did. it? Yes, you're not. They're not. They're unjustifiable acts. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't be justified. That's the conflict that I have with this movie. I'm on his side when I'm not supposed to be. I would be with the clown faced writing. I'm not supposed to be. Mm-hmm. I've t- I've said it before on the podcast on in video games. I'm always the goody two shoe guys <laughs> in Mass Effect. I can't be the asshole. Mm-hmm. I just is not in me. So this movie left me with a terrible conflict of like, (laughs) why am I rooting for this guy? He's not supposed to. And I get it. Joker is a pulverizing figure in our world. Everybody knows who the Joker is. So there's some, there's some of that in there, but this movie fucked me up. This straight up. It fucked me up. Have any of y'all seen Mindhunter? No. Okay. I don't remember if I spoke. Oh, I thought you did. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I I, I talked to you, but I didn't know if I talked about this that uh, a lot of people because of the controversy are w- were saying that uh, he w- with the joker they were glorifying violence and whatever but they do that a lot and for example in Mindhunter I mean these guys speak to serial killers BTK mm-hmm. and whoever but they're so likable 
that you kind of root for them. For example, this uh, Ed Kemper, mm. the co-ed killer, when they speak to him, he speaks, he's so charismatic, he's so nonchalant that you like the guy. But when you put into perspective who he who he is showing to these cops, you put it in, in like a uh, like a scale against whatever he's done, which is horrible. Yeah. You're like, why do I like this guy? If I'm supposed to hate him because of what he's done. Yeah. So it's 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 so strange and unsettling. It's, it's weird. It, this movie, for real, fucked me up. I was... I felt him. I understood him. But at the same time, with my, within myself, nothing could ever push me to the edge to do something like that. At least you think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. But it, it's weird. It, it really fucked me up. Um, if I, if we take out the DC ness out of it, would you still like it? Because there's not much of it in the movie. No, there really is. There's actually just two, well, three connections to the DC, and one big one that they've made a million times. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, well, it's that's one of them. It's actually the city. Yeah, the name Arthur Fleck and the Waynes. That's well, the only, those are the only collections. And the, the whole movie, though. I feel I think it's very DC heavy because there's a bunch of characters from fucking DC. I like, wouldn't say a bunch. No, there's not a bunch. The whole th oh, it's I mean, it's a fucking Joker. Like, but if we take out the DC ness and his name is 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 Robin, a gang, would you still like the movie? Well, it will be a different movie. It would be the exact same movie. They just no mention of the Waynes. The Waynes are called the fucking Rands. Probably not. Really? The rants. <laughs> I'm just reading names off my books over here. Yeah, <laughs> probably not. I, I wouldn't. Have, I would have not gone to see it. Mm. See it in the first place. Mm. See, I probably would. Me oh, too. It probably wouldn't garner a much attention. Uh huh. But once I got around, I would, I would have been like, "Holy shit, this movie's a sneak." But what if it wasn't just named the Joker? What if it was named Fleck, or Arthur, mm. or just Arthur Fleck? And it was by DC where you, you would be like, I mean, you have to know something. Know, yeah, know something to be like, okay, I know where this is going. But it would have been a, re I mean, I think that could have been a reveal. If pe I mean, most of the people don't know what Arthur Fleck is. Mm -hmm. So he's you, a version. Yeah, he's a version of the Joker. Of the Joker. But if you don't know, it, it's not that deep of a cut, but it's kind of out there. Yeah. And if you don't know what it is, it would have been a reveal at the end. Like, Jesus Christ. For example, the we see it in the trailer when he tells De Niro's character to introduce him as Joker. Mm -hmm. That would have been the reveal. Yeah. Which would have been tight. I mean, he's got face paint, so you would have put pieces together before yeah. that. But still. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, we're going to get to spoiler territory. You wanna, Anything you want to say before prior spoilery? Um, would you recommend it? It's hard because... I don't know if I'll recommend it to the regular folk because it's, I know that people are expecting like an action movie or something like that when it's not. And I know that it's not. So I don't know if I would recommend it. But it, since it's a good movie, I would, I guess I would still recommend it. I just know what to do. Do your sure. research, basically. Um, I wouldn't watch it again. Hmm. It's felt slightly long for me. Um, But I, I get that everything that happened had a purpose. And it told a good story. Like you said, it's like a it's like a pot boiling up and toward the end it just explodes. So it's kinda worth it. Um I guess it oh, 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 It entertained oh. you, it didn't bore you at all. No. Did you feel anything? We just expl we just had a whole therapy session and I didn't felt that much um connect i mean i'm a very empathetic person so i understand and especially yeah when he's getting his ass kicked you're like oh shit especially especially the way he gets views like <clears throat> you see that in the news every time like all lgbt people being killed and attacked for no reason so you sympathize with that um so i'll give it um nine i guess damn that's high but i wouldn't watch it again i thought you were gonna give me a seven no I, it's a good movie all right let's score before you head into spider territory i'm giving, it, I'm giving it a 10 Find it on Blu-ray the day it comes out. It moved me. I'm just going to say that. I, that's the only thing I can say. It moved me too much. I don't know if I'm going to buy it the day it comes out. It doesn't matter what day it was, but I'm buying it. It's a 10 for me. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna go see it again. You should. I don't see movies in the theater twice. I don't see movies twice, period. I'm gonna go yeah. see this fucker again. <laughs> I'll tell you this. The second time you watch it, it's not gonna feel that long. I probably won't. No. It happens with TV commercials all the time. <laughs> so why wouldn't it happen with this movie? But this movie is amazing. But do your research. Make sure this is a movie you want to see. If not, you're going to come out disappointed. And don't bring kids. No. No, 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 no mamas. Turn your cell phone. We have these fucking nuts behind us. On the cell phone. It had one ringtone. They stopped that. And then it sounded differently again and then i don't know if it was the same group but they started eating potato chips or something it was the same group bro i was so into the movie that it didn't bother me as much but the people we went with he was pissed yeah boss was pissed yeah these motherfuckers i didn't hear the potato chips but i just heard somebody like going in into fucking popcorn like i imagine a fucking beast arm going into the fucking bucket i was like what how how the fuck are you in your popcorns like what i just heard like like, what the fuck it was fucking loud i never heard people eat the popcorn that loud in my fucking life yeah damn jesus Alrighty, let's get into spoilers spoilers boys but before we get into spoilers, yeah. you can find us at Gigaflix and Joysticks on Instagram. Very good. You can find uh, uh, Bossman at Edward Parasas. You can find me at uh, Jafel91. You can find Alex. Where they can find you? At the In floor? The floor. <laughs> the floor. You can listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, iVox, iTunes, and uh, Spotify and YouTube. Yeah, do all that. Please leave us a comment, rating, a review. All that. Okay, I'm already exhausted, but let's get into it. <laughs> yeah, this is taxing. spoilers for the Joker. If you have not seen it or you do not care, this is the time where we say goodbye. Goodbye. Mm. Thanks for listening. I fucking love y'all. You do you. All right. <laughs> spoilers. Bam, bam. I, don't, I don't know how I can say more spoilers. Spoilers. Okay. Come on. Y'all ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Did he kill Domino? Yes or no? Domino being Sophia the neighbor, being Zazzy Beats. Did he kill her? Yes or no? I'm gonna say n- no. What do you think? Uh, no. You think he did? I do not know. This movie b- blurs the line so fucking much. Yeah, you do not know what is reality. <laughs> you do not know what is part of his re- imagination. It blurs it so much you do not know. And the movie didn't seem like it did. But then again, what was his purpose of going into her apartment? Uh, I don't know. Maybe for the re- for that reveal that that was uh I mean at least as he beats his shtick was all happening in his mind, and that was how far gone he was. But I I I'm hoping he didn't kill them. It's not that it would I, be I them. It wouldn't be just her. It would be you? them, the Zazi and her kid. Yeah. So I it doesn't know. I don't know. No, but that chilled me. That. Yeah, when yeah. he's sitting there on the couch and you're like, oh, sh- you're, piecing, you're piecing it together that he made it up, which I kind of called. I was like, nah, he's like, yeah. <laughs> he's a crazy guy. How, he, he's not going to just walk up to her door, open it and make out with it. And she's going to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's <laughs> is hot. No, I felt that that part exactly or specifically was made up. But I didn't think the whole thing that she was in the comedy store, that she was everywhere else. That I didn't think that was well, made there up. There was no trace of it, you know. I yeah, and she kind of, of it. popped up. Yeah. Um, like I said, I understood the controversy because I, I was legit scared that something might happen in the theater. Did that thought cro- come across to you at all? Um, What do you mean something? Like somebody crazy, shooting? Yes, yeah, like a crazy fuck could get up and shoot. Did you hear the popping noises outside the theater? No. I heard that. Oh, there shit. was a lot of popping noises. I was like, and oh, preface, shit. We are in Mexico. Shootings like that do not occur here. Yeah, because we don't give a fuck. It's, not in the theaters. No, not, not in the theaters. It's not, no, it's not. Everywhere else, but not in the okay, theaters. Okay, but still, the people who are making the shootings are, are Crazy. cartel gang related shit. Yeah. Like, it, whatever, what happens in the U.S. every two weeks does not occur here for whatever reason. Strangely. <laughs> And mental health is not a problem here. Like, it's dealt with, but you will never hear of a mental ill person grabbing a gun and going shooting. No. 
or using mental health as an excuse to be able to do that either. Mm -hmm. Mental health. I don't want to say it's looked down upon, but honestly, I feel like it, it here. It no, is, it is. It is looked down upon here, but still, it's not as prevalent as it is in the U.S. No, people here are shut-ins, and they normally, what I've experienced with people is that they kill themselves, they commit suicide. There was maybe three or four in the past fifty years. I remember there was a recent one in school. No. Yeah, and there was YouTube video on it. Mm -hmm. That was a little kid who was shooting little kids and the teacher yeah. and shit. And he shot himself. And he shot himself. And I saw that. Video. That chilled me to the bone. Yeah. How the fuck could a kid do that? But that's a in crazy incident in years. Yeah, not three or four a month. So the U.S. definitely has a problem on that. <laughs> I'm not. It's an understatement. But still, while watching the movie, and he's giving his speech in the late night show to De Niro. I thought Oof. something could happen, and I was legit scared. Neta. The thought went across my mind as to, if that were to happen, where the fuck do I go? Like, where are the exits? I was scared. Boss and Victor were too. They thought something could happen. To the point where it was someone who would eat popcorn and it was freaking him out. Neta? Yeah. So it said that he heard sounds and he was like, oh shit. It no, chilled me. I was scared. I heard those loud pops before the movie and during the movie. I was like, oh, I hope that's not here. But then I forgot about it. I was, I got so into the movie that I forgot about the pops. And then I think it was today that I went with my, with my girl to watch the movie that I was like, oh, shit. What if something happened? Oh, she, and she's a psychologist. She had a fair bit to say about the movie. And I, 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 that thought crossed my mind. What if someone comes here? What would I do? What? I always think about that though. Every time I go to the theaters, actually, no, not me. I do. No, uh, not me. Not, not me. me. Me neither. And this time I was, I was pretty chill about it. it was, yeah. What the fuck, Neta? Yeah. You always think about that? Yes, always. That, and I'll always that's surprising. I always look at my surroundings, and you have to be alert. Yeah. No, this is the. I first just time find it weird that the person, the the two people who were next to me, like twenty minutes into the movie, they left. Yeah, I was told that that happened. I was like, what? I was like, well, I, I saw them, but I, I thought they were going to the bathroom or something. No. Um, but I think that's what this movie is. I don't, it's weird. It, that movie, the movie provoked that thought into me. I was legit afraid. Damn. And up until the moment where he shoots De Niro, I didn't know what was going to happen. Is he going to shoot himself? Is he going to maybe shoot De Niro? It is is not. You don't know. I think he was planning to shoot himself, but then like something changed, and he just the fact that he was making fun it. of him. Yeah, that that's the, that was the bait and switch. But I think I think it had a little bit more profound effect because he was killing not just an era, but the idea of something that's that brings joy to people. Like he killed not just an era, but he killed that, right? And that shook me a lot. Like that's that a person has the power to do that, and it's so easy. Yeah, it's so fucking easy. But now, was that real though? I would think so. How, how, we don't know. That's yeah. why it's perfect it, it, as a standalone. Yeah, because if they try to implement any kind of Batman, it's gonna mess things up. Yeah, it's gonna. Not grounded. And since <laughs> it's kind of set, not officially, but if not in the 80s, mm -hmm. I can see this moment being taken place because we get the, the Joe Chill moment. Yeah. And they they emphasize so much on the pearls. It it, it was a callback. I was to like, the... is that a callback to another movie where the exact thing happens? I yeah. couldn't remember. It happens in the Justice League. I think it was. Yeah. Justice League. Was it? Yeah, because he didn't pull the pearls, but the gun, when he shoots the with the gun cocks back after the shot, it busts it busts the the pearl. Yeah, and then it I was think, just so obvious to me. I was like, oh, did that happen in one of the Batfleck movies? Not Batfleck, but I think it happened in the Jack Nicholson one. I feel like I've seen that scene many times, even that's, in the cartoons. That's exactly yeah. how it, it is made. But I was just trying to correlate it to a universe now. Because the way I can see this working out is that this is not the Joker. He is a Joker. Yeah. He becomes a, in, in, in the Gotham realm, he becomes a political figure. And in the future, when Batman is now Batman, 
There is a Joker. Which is the one, one we know. <laughs> which is the one we quote unquote know, know and love. Kind of. But takes Arthur Fleck's persona and uses him as an inspiration. Mm -hmm. Like a super mega fan. Yeah. Which this also brings up the movie also questions. Are your fan base responsible for what you do? You know what I mean? Like, you could you be held accountable for be, what they do? Yeah. Oh, shit. Because he killed somebody and it incited a riot. Is he, That's a loaded question, the bro. The whole movie is loaded. Time. Yeah, and now that you put that, uh, you put that question into me, like, if, if was that I real? I put nothing into you, bro. Uh, just a question, just a thought, just a thought. Because when he was on the psych ward at the end, his hair was black. Right, because the paint maybe wore off. Maybe, but how much time did it did, did, well, You don't know. Did he actually kill a therapist? Was, there, was his first therapist real? You don't know shit. God damn it. We don't know shit. And My head's starting to hurt. Yeah, and I saw it twice. But I didn't think about that. No. Was everything... I mean, I think he killed his mom. That was clear enough. Yeah. And paper boy pushing papers. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but the the scene when he's reading the file and he's like standing in the room and the mom is describing everything. Uh, the doctor's describing everything. That, wanted, that made me want to cry hard. Because it's the abuse of a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucked up. Yeah. It explains why he laughs uncontrollably. Mm-hmm. So, when the Joker when the Joker is actually born, Batman's born, too. Yeah. So, that's kind of cool. <laughs> and I like that joke part. Mm. Like, you wouldn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> but why do I like it? It's so twisted. It's, it's fucked twisted. up. I'm so... I'm so... I'm conflicted now. Yeah. The whole thing. Um, the scissor kill. You gasped. Oh. I yelled. <laughs> Talking to you. I don't remember. When he stabs him in the eye with the scissors. Oh, yeah. You went. Uh. Yeah, that was. <clears throat> when you that said was... violence. That's the first thing that popped in my head. That that bothered you. Yeah, that was violent. Very very violent. It felt more violent because it f it feels raw, very raw. The whole movie's like that, yeah. It's like you 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 pick a scab and you're picking at the raw skin. That's how I feel the movie is. <laughs> and then he let the little guy that go. Little guy. Yeah. And he was like, "You were always nice to me. Be nice, people. You just have to fucking be nice." His speech with De Niro is, "Why are we all savages? Why are y'all not nice?" He just uh, if he he would have got a hug. Because all his physical, uh, all the demonstrations of physical love towards him were fake. Mm -hmm. They weren't real. Did we see any? Because even his mom didn't want to touch with the girl. Oh yeah, that wasn't real. And when he, and his, when he's dancing with his mom, his mom didn't want to touch him. She didn't want to dance. Yeah, that's and all. He was like, I just came from a date, which is not real. Mm hmm. He he gets off of his med. It's just it's just the movie goes off the rails. Yeah, he just. Be fucking nice. Like, it doesn't take much to be nice. I mean, if... Yeah. it That's what it boils down to. Don't be, be a fucking dick. nice. <laughs> be nice. Wasn't that what you call buddy every time? Yeah. Be nice. Thanks for bringing up my dead dog, Doug. Sorry. Right. On almost a year of him passing. Good job. Oh, shit. You want a hug? No. Okay. <laughs> you go crazy if you can get a hug, bro. <laughs> Hand me the scissors. <laughs> so yeah, this movie is a lot. And I love it. There's probably points that I probably remiss to talk about or forgot or whatever. Bet what, money we're going to remember when we're not recording. Whatever that is, leave it on the comment section below. Yeah. If there's a comment section wherever you listen to or, you know, where could they, where, where could they do better? Say it again. Uh, you can comment and see us at Geeks, uh, sorry. Geeks, up, Flix, sorry. <laughs> Geeks Flicks and Joysticks on Instagram. You can find Boss here at Edward Perazis. You can find me at Jafel91. You can say happy birthday to Alex and Ooh, yeah. following him at Alex Mac and writing whatever on the floor. He's going to read it over there. Uh, you can listen to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, iVox, and YouTube. Before we leave, yeah. yeah. Each of you give me a joke or laugh. 
to close it. Let's start with you because I know you're going to be the worst. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. That's pretty good. I can't. That's I don't pretty know. good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. He won. That's pretty good. <laughs> you don't have to go anymore. Go. Try. He won. I don't. I can't. Try. You know how to work a command. Ah, just try. I can't. Just so my try doesn't sound stupid. Right? Just try. <laughs> if I throw a chunkla at him, would you laugh? No, no he's, laugh. he's gonna go. <laughs> but that's not what it is. Go. You want me to imitate his laugh? Sure. Or a Joker laugh. Give me a, your Joker laugh or the imitation. Either one. Just give me a Joker laugh. You, you're you dragging out the bit too much. Just fucking do it, monkey. The only laugh I remember is Jared Leto's laugh. I don't even remember his laugh. Me neither. It, it was, was unforgettable. Almost... No, it wasn't. <laughs> oh my god, that's it's scary. Kind of like that. That's scary. <laughs> I don't know. See, but he's not trying, so that's why it sounds okay. <laughs> that's why it sounds scary. I don't know. Ha ha ha. Pendejo. Come on, man. Just once. Could you dance for me? Could, could, could no. you, could could you try? Dance. Could you, you set the example, bitch? please? Yes. Could you set the example, please? No. Okay, hold on. Ew, I'm I'm cringing. <laughs> Enough. You're making it worse. I just want a joker laugh. Give me a joker laugh. Quick. Look, it's not a guy. Whatever. Express yourself. The <laughs> fact that mine came naturally says a lot about me. <laughs> it's because I made you laugh. I'm yeah, normal. You did. I'm sorry. El normal. Cállate la verga. Bro, this has been 30 seconds of a bit that should have been ended 10 seconds, 20 seconds ago. <laughs> there you go. That's Diddy Kong, man. <laughs> that, yeah, that was Diddy Kong. <laughs> um, you made me. You made me. Mm, my fault. Yes, yeah, 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 give me, give me your, give me your actual try. My actual try. Yeah. Oh shit! Now I'm put on the spot. It's put on the spot, right? <laughs> that sounded close to yours. That's yeah. Well, yeah. That's scary. <laughs> 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 Wait, that's not right. <laughs> oh my God. I was, I was going to do it and my throat was like, nope, bitch. <laughs> Tricks water. Closed up. I'll give cut give it up. Give me the one. Give me your real one so I can prep, prep. Go. What? Give me your fucking joker laugh. I don't have a joker laugh. What if I punch you? I'm not going to punch you. I love you Why too much. You're such a prude. Just do your fucking I joker know. laugh, even if it's terrible. Go. I can't. I'll cut it go. out. I'll cut it out. I won't cut it out. Go ahead. <laughs> no. Uh, ah, pinche morro. But if I were like, yeah, never mind. <laughs> okay, that 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 it's not that's that, Joker. See? No, that's not a Joker. That's a witch. Yeah, it was a witch. <laughs> <laughs> it was a witch. He won. That was Jokerish. He won with his normal laugh. Yes, because yeah. he's mentally ill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't make fun. Huh? You didn't learn nothing from the movie. Facts. No, but he gives me love. Now I'm gonna and be you nice give me to love. him, and I receive a lot of love. <laughs> You're the fucked up one for not giving him a Joker laugh. Yeah. <laughs> You suck, Bubbles. You're fired. Can just, I fire him? This is my birthday. Your birthday can't was be fired. <sighs> Damn. He's Fuck. You win this time, you son of a bitch. When is your birthday? Uh, next month <gasps> at the end. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna get him shit. Him? I don't get none of y'all nothing no more. Mm. I ask for one thing, and you can't even do that. I'm talking to you. This show is over. I'm trying, but I need you to give me a joker laugh. We're done. He we're won. Gonna go, we're going to go three hours if we need to, to get your fucking joker laugh. We're not going to eat. Well, I'm going to eat. I don't give a fuck. All right. You made it cringy. <laughs> yeah. You I made it up. cringy. Yes, you, yes, you did. Um, you, you fucked, fucked up. up. You yeah. fucked it you're not If I would have been like, give me a joker laugh, and you give it to me, and then give it to me, and then I give my... Yeah. But yeah. You're fucking it up. Four minutes ago. Yes. So I apologize for the last four minutes. The rest of the podcast, I believe, was pretty good. And if you want to keep listening to us, hopefully we keep getting better with your comments, et cetera, et cetera. Tune in next week when I don't know what the hell we're going to talk about. We might do Gemini Man. I do not know. These fools passed on it. I don't know if I'm going to go premiere that to go see it. We don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But for y'all who are not related to me and listen to this, I really, really appreciate it. I love y'all. Always and forever. You do you. Bye. Bye.